Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Techno Spark. In today's video, I am going to show you how to use a remote desktop connection. Yes, today I am going to teaching you how does the remote desktop connection works. Well, first of all, what is remote desktop connection? Remote desktop connection is used to connect to the servers. For example, you are in an office, and for example, this is your office's server. Yes, my horrible drawing. Please try to understand. Yeah. So this is your server, and you want to access this data on your office computer or your home computer. And yeah, see if the server office is nearby, you can simply go by adding a pen drive, and it would be done. But if you are living at uh, Kalyan and uh, offices at Hyderabad, then what you do? You can simply go here in today's day. So. the tool called a remote desktop connection is used to do this yes this is called the remote desktop connection the remote desktop connection used is used to connect to a server or a computer so what you can do is simply type an ip address of it and you will be able to see the all data in this one to your computer so that's it easy and in today's video i am going to show you how to do this if you can see now i will split screen so one screen will be of my computer which i had name as computer 1 and another will be my laptop screen which is which would be known as computer 2 so compute on computer 2 i will be running remote desktop connection and connect to this one computer 1 So without further ado let's get right into it Okay so now you have to make some settings to the computer which you are going to connect First of all go to settings and then you have to search for remote yeah remote connection to this computer And for this, you would need Windows 10 Enterprise or Windows 10 Professional. Yes. To check it, what version you have, simply right-click on this PC and Properties. And when you see here, you would find. Oh wait, I'll full screen it. In Windows specifications, edition should be Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise. If it is that, then you would be able to configure. because this is for developers yes so search for remote and you'd find something like developer like icon click on that you'd find this two times settings and yeah scroll down a bit until you find remote desktop and now be sure that you check all these so um here change settings to allow so click on show settings and you have to click on this one and click on apply say do this with all this and click on apply after this you might want to restart your computer for it to work properly okay now next thing is to be done on the computer from which you are going to connect yes so now i would show my desktop to you guys you can see on the laptop screen what i want to do is go to start and search for a remote desktop connection when search for remote you would find this one click on that yes and now in here it would ask you for an ip address or the computer name i'll show you how to find these both now to find it you need to go to the one which you are going to connect in my case computer 1 so on computer 1 so on computer 1 I will start my command prompt to see my IP. In the last video, I told you how to do so. Type in IP config. IP config. And yeah, you have to search for IPv4 address and take it and type it in in the computer two. In my case, yes. Now I will type the IP address. I've blurred it, of course.
Just please double check your IP address because uh, yeah, you know the files. And once it is done, you can click on this connect button. But now I want to show you how to see the computer. To com to see the computer name, in my case, I'd go on computer one on which I want it. I'd go on properties and yeah. And you can see here device specifications, device name, this one. In my case, I have put on my name. If you have desktop, it would be something like desktop dash something random. If you have laptop, it would be like laptop and something random. Because I have renamed my PC, it is my own. Yes. So what you have to do is type it in the remote desktop dialog. Here I would type in my name. Yes, I have done it multiple times, so it would be there. Click on connect. Yes, and it you would find this. And now you'll be asked for credentials. Now enter your computer once password. Yes, you want to enter it. So I type in mine one. You can also click on remember me if you are going to do, going to do this multiple times. Click on OK. And it will show you securing remote connection. And you might get this certificate error. And because this uh, computer is trusted, you can click on this. Yes. And there you are. So on my real desktop computer, the screen is right now black. Yes. And so I may edit this video later on. Not now. Yeah. So keep one thing in mind. There would be no animation. If you know that the start screen just comes just. It is just like one thing slide move up without any transition. As you also can see here, just coming up and coming. There are no transitions. Yes, and there it is. That's pretty much it. Like this, you can control any computer or server. In server, also you have to see the IP address and you can simply connect. And yes, one more announcement. We have reached 20 subscribers, guys. Thank you for your support. We our next target is 25 subscribers. Yes, so hope you guys like this video. If you did, so click on like, share, and subscribe.